All right, the market is tanking again. This is getting ridiculous. The same people making the same statements, lying to us and spreading the same BS over and over again. Who might you ask? Well, stick around because I'm going to tell you what the real truth is and what's going on with the market and how they are manipulating you to shake you out of your hard-earned money and stocks. We're going to dive right in. Look, this is ridiculous. There's a lot that goes into this. It may seem like this is just a regular pullback or maybe the markets are correcting, but it's not as simple as that. You see, Jerome Powell and the FOMC meetings and everyone who works at the feds, they are not cutting interest rates. And they're doing that because they're trying to stay proactive while cutting the interest rates. This is good. However, they're taking so long, there's now cracks in the structure of our financial stability in this country, specifically the infrastructure in warehouse jobs or manufacturing. There is an issue there that popped up yesterday, Thursday in the markets. That's why the markets are correcting. The real reason for this is because all of the forward-looking guidance and statements, the markets had already priced in rate cuts for August and July. That never happened. During the Fed meeting yesterday, or on Wednesday, actually, it was actually confirmed that it's likely, and it's on the table, that we're going to have an interest rate cut in September. However, it seems to be looming over our heads that a recession is imminent. I don't believe it is. And there's not really a whole lot of evidence to suggest that that's even a strong possibility. In fact, the overall broader spectrum of the economy in the United States is actually robust. And I'm going to give you guys some verbatim from multiple websites. But right now, there's pullbacks in the market. Now, I want to explain to you guys something very important. When you're in an inflation situation, like we have been for the past couple of years since the 2022 pullback, a lot of hedge funds, institutions, smart money, rich people pulled money out of the stock market, put it into bonds and to money markets. So there's a lot of cash that came out of the stock market. That's why we're still lower than we were in 2021. In 2022, when all the prices were coming down, people were selling, pulling money out of the stock market. 2023 was a little bit better. 2024 was a lot better. And we're now just hitting our second correction of the year, which is a big one. Normally they're 10%. This one's a lot higher. So what's actually happening here is they are delaying, cutting the interest rates. They are fear mongering. Algorithmic trading with these institutions and hedge funds is selling off in 10 banking stocks. And let me explain to you why they're doing this. As soon as the Fed cuts rates in September, everybody's going to start buying up, right? Well, you're correct. They really will. They'll start buying up maybe even sooner, but things are going to reverse in the next couple of weeks, maybe in the next month or so. And when the Feds announce they're cutting interest rates in September, everyone's going to buy everything up. And that's when institutions are going to kick in and they're going to move all of their money that is in money market accounts. They're going to move it into the stock market. So if you were planning on moving five $500 billion into the stock market, as an example, from money markets, wouldn't you want the stocks to be at a cheap, affordable, and attainable price? Well, that's the reality. If you notice, everybody sold off with the greed in 2021 and 2022. Stocks dropped. They put their money in money markets. The stock market kept tanking, going up and down, kind of crazy. Starts to recover in 23 and even more in 24 and starts to come up. They keep delaying the interest rates. They keep delaying and delaying and delaying. Then the stock market starts to pull back heavily. And as soon as this happens, now the feds are announcing they're going to cut rates. Of course, they're going to cut rates. They've been delaying over and over again so they could get the market to pull back. Now that they've got the pullback, that's exactly when they say they're going to do the rate cut in September. Now it's on the table. Now apparently we have two or maybe even three rate cuts by the end of the year. Conveniently, after the market started to pull back and now it's pulling back even more. It's like cars moving out of the way for an ambulance. That's what's going on here. The market is pulling back and they're priming it. So when the interest rates are cut and the stocks start to rise and get bought up, all that money coming over from money markets can get put into the stock market and they can buy up all of these stocks dirt cheap compared to where they were a month ago. I mean, look at Nvidia. It's down from 140 or 135 to 105. AMD down from 170 to 130. And the list goes on. Those are just two out of like 50 stocks that are down 20% or more. The whole market is down. And this is why these manipulations have got to stop, but they never will. So ultimately, if you're holding, keep holding. Do not get shaken out of your hard-earned money in stocks. This is something that I figured out a long time ago, spending years studying the market, going to college. You see, just over six years ago, I was flat broke, practically bankrupt. But with trading and investing and going to 
school and growing my wealth and learning how to outsmart the market, I was able to grow my financial wealth and have financial freedom. And that is really important. I'm able to do things that I've always wanted to do. And I really want that for you guys, which is why I put so much effort into these videos. So I'm telling you guys, if you're serious about getting better, learning, growing your portfolio, growing your financial wealth, and being able to have financial time and location freedom, and you take that very seriously and you're committed, I have very limited spots in my Discord training course and one-on-one -on -one coaching. I can't just accept anybody. So if you're serious about growing your financial wealth, I want to help you achieve your goals is what drives me every single day. You guys can sign up at investwithcorey.com right there on the screen or in the information box below. Book a call with my team and I so we can custom tailor a solution for you and your specific needs and portfolio size. Now, getting back to this topic, I'm going to read you guys some verbatim and it's really bad, like how they manipulate the market, but I'm going to read this for you. The rate cut expected in six weeks was already priced into the stocks, which have been rising over the past few months in hopes of a cut. Just like I was telling you, rate cuts tend to juice the stocks because they lower borrowing costs for the businesses and help boost profits, meaning everybody's already priced the rate cut into the current stocks but because the rate cuts haven't happened. The stock started to pull back, meaning... As soon as the rate cuts are announced, the stocks are going to go right back to where they were before this drop. So don't sell your stocks. Do not get shaken out of your stocks. Right? Am I right? High five. Damn straight. We're going to hold on to our stocks. They're not shaking us out. But in all reality, I got a little bit more reading to do here for you. But now fear is starting to take hold as concerns mount as the Fed may not be acting quickly enough to keep the American job market in good shape. I don't feel like they're acting too slow per se. They're trying to be proactive, but at the same time, they're sandbagging this so that money market accounts can like take advantage of the situation. That's what's going on. But there's more. Let me read more here for you. Powell warned Wednesday that the cracks are starting to form in the labor market. On Thursday, the stock market underwent a bit of reset with the Dow falling more than 600 points as America may be entering a new phase of the economy. Slowdown in hiring. The broader S&P 500 tumbled 1.5% and the tech NASDAQ composite dropped a stunning 2.5%. It's been a turbulent few weeks for the markets as some earnings reports have been underwhelming and fear about increased regulation of tech and lackluster AI performance have soured investors' moods. Companies have reported U.S. consumers have have pulled back from restaurants and retailers and this week some preliminary jobs data looked weak i don't know if i agree with all of this i think there's just an overall fear in the market and i think it's being led by regulators and market makers manipulators liars like i don't buy into it completely like 70 percent of it's bs but America's economy remains undeniably strong. A report last week on second quarter gross domestic product, the broader measure of the U.S. economy, was particularly robust, showing consumer spending resilience. Housing data is starting to show some signs of improvement, including mortgage rates tumbling to their lowest levels since February on Thursday. And Wall Street seems unfazed by Vice President Kamala Harris. Look for more of this bumpiness over the next few months as economists and investors sort out what might be a new phase in America's economic growth story, the election's coming up. A lot of this is just fear. And unfortunately, they're trying to shake you out of your stocks. Look, right now we're at 33 on the fear scale, which is only about three to five points away from teetering on extreme fear. Once the market gets to extreme fear, I would no longer be greedy and be buying stocks. Right now, I'd be a little bit greedy, start selectively buying stocks. I would not do this in extreme fear because at any given moment, a stock could plummet even more. So during extreme fear, you want to try to catch the bottom, wait for you know extreme fear to level off and go back to fear and work its way back to neutral. Then you start buying in. But ultimately right now, do not sell your stock. Everything's going to be fine. This is unbelievably, unbelievably stupid for anyone to think that we're going into a full recession. I mean, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it, it's not likely. The interest rate cuts are coming. There's one in September and there's probably going to be one in November, right around election time, just like I told you guys. But we got one rate coming in September and another one around election and possibly one around New Year's or right before New Year's. But I would say we're probably going to get two. And that's good. That's really good. If we can get a quarter of a percent each time, I don't know. 
don't know. We'll see. But I'm just trying to tell you guys, don't get shaken out of your stock. Stay strong and don't let the market manipulate. Let this fear manipulate you. Just last week, AMD and NVIDIA were right where they're at now. And they ran right back up early this week. Now they're down again. Guess what? In a week or two, they're going to run right back up again. It, this is the long game. Remember, we got into these stocks a month ago, two months ago, three months ago. And we're going to get out in six months, eight months, a year. Everything in between is noise. Everything is going to be okay, fam. Woosa, <sighs> breathe. S&P 500 has a target of 5,900 by the end of the year. Right now, we've pulled back from 56 and change or 57 back to 54, 55 range. We still have 400 to go on the S&P by the end of the year. That means the stocks are going to return to the prices they were a month ago and probably a few percent higher. So I hope you guys are ready for that because it's going to be great. We just got to weather the storm, make it out to the other side. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Really appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, ding, so you know when I post new content. Give me a thumbs up. It greatly helps my emotions and makes me feel appreciated. Thanks so much, guys. Hey, remember, I'm telling you, on my Discord, you don't want to miss out on the one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you guys are serious about your financial freedom, invest with Corey com right there on the screen or in the information box below this way you can book a call with me and my team so i can set up a complete plan for you specifically tailored for your portfolio size and specific needs we're making a lot of money in the discord and i want you to be a part of it don't worry this video is over but i got another one just for you and you're gonna like it uh-oh hold on what's going on with this hold on let me shake the screen a little bit here. What's going on with this? All right, all right, I'm sorry. Will you please appear when I clap my hands? There it is. You see, being nice always works. One love, fam. And one love to you.